Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I am working on the service switch bank. This uh, is coming out of a theater magic machine and two of the buttons are not working so I'm going to go over how you check that and diagnose um, what's wrong with it. So the switch assembly fits into this little thing up here and pokes up through the top you can see like that and there's two screws on the top let me move it up a little bit you can see um, so you loosen these two screws and then this thing drops out like that and what you have is you have four separate switches that have one wire connected to the the middle that is all linked across all the switches and then you have four separate wires connected onto the bottom and these are the actual cabinet switch sensors right here the ones on the bottom so the way you can check to see if the switch is working properly is you can take a meter and set it to continuity let me uh, put this one right there I'll take a uh, meter and I put alligator clips on it so I've got two alligator clips here and you can connect one end to this central wire that goes all the way across in the middle and then you can connect one to the one of the lower wires okay and turn the meter on make sure it's on continuity and then when you press the button assuming uh, the, the thing does not fall off we can check continuity here here, here, squeak. So I'm going to connect this to, I'll just connect it to the middle bar in here. So when I press this button, quiet! See? And you can see how flaky these switches are. Watch when I hold it down. Hear it, hear it kind of stop and start. They're pretty cheap switches. Um, so you move this across over here to this one and this one doesn't work see so I'll put this right up here maybe here a little better okay so this one down here Yeah, see, it's kind of flaky switches, but the um, these last two don't work at all. So they're dead. So there's a couple of approaches here. Um, I noticed another thing. See this this wire right here is kinked. It got jammed maybe in the cabinet door. Um, I'm going to check that. This could be a broken wire here, but the switch still doesn't work anyway. Um, there's a couple of things you could do. You could replace the individual switches. You could bend these little tabs up here and pull them out. Then you have to desolder this one wire that goes all the way across. That's a pain in the butt. I am going to just replace it with a brand new switch stack here that I got. Um, you can pick these up. And I've already got a, a piece of wire across it. I'm about to solder that and then solder these other, switch, the other connections to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to replace the whole switch stack since it's kind of flaky. They're not. I think they're about fifteen dollars or so, um, and you know then you'll get you'll get a much more reliability out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solder first solder this one so the middle links are all connected together, and then I will pull the wires off here and go one by one down on the bottom appropriately. Um, sometimes if a button doesn't work, more the most common thing is one of these things breaks off. So if you have a button that doesn't work in the cabinet, before you even start to do this, look and see if you see a wire that's loose. And, uh, and then check that to make sure that's not the problem. But these things do commonly fail. You know, they're right underneath the uh, lockdown bar, which is where drinks and stuff end up getting spilled on and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's not unusual for them to go bad. So I'm going to replace that. And uh, I, won't, uh, I won't have you see my crappy soldering skills, but... Uh, I'll show, maybe I'll show you when it's done. But uh, for more, visit pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.